Good morning, everyone. Welcome to another vlog. Okay, so today I am at the gym. I feel like my whole vlog is just like going shopping, eating, and going to the gym and gardening my gardening my water, watering my garden. Oh, I'm so dumb. That's like literally my life right now, and that's what's making me happy. That's what's keeping me calm and sane in these these adult days where it's so stressful. And I've been like, you know, spending more time on just like doing things for myself. Like I've been getting facials. I've been like getting massages. I've been spending money on personal training. I'm just doing stuff for myself because for the longest time, I just never. I mean, I would spend money on things or items, but I would never actually like spend stuff on things that will actually make me look better, feel better, and it's good for my health. I just want to get in the habit of working out now so that like in the future when i'm like 40 and i should probably start working out i'm already like in the habit you know they say it takes what 30 days to form a habit i've been working out now for f almost four months and it's definitely a habit and i definitely even on days where i don't feel like going i still go and then i feel so good after i have kettlebell with my trainer today and then i have cycling right after did you guys just hear my stomach rumble however i think i'm gonna start my period today i woke up and one of my number one signs that i'm gonna start my period is usually my boobs hurt but they don't hurt they haven't been hurting, so I don't know what that was up. Like, I don't know why. This is my first time ever where my boobs just have not hurt. And then my second sign is, like, the day of or the day before, my lower back hurts. And that is what I have today. I woke up and my lower back is killing me, even though I didn't really do anything crazy yesterday, except I went for a walk and went on my psych, like, I, I went to spin class. But my lower back is, like, killing me, which is a sign I'm most likely gonna start my period today. So, I came here with a tampon and with Advil. Oh my god, my stomach. I'm so sorry. I'm so hungry. Anyways, I have three minutes till my personal training session starts so i'm gonna go in and do a warm-up so i'll talk to you guys when i get out on my workout came home i have horrible acid reflux i just ate a tums but i am going to shower wash my hair however i have a question for you guys i don't know if you guys are gonna know the answer i use olaplex i would say every time i wash my hair and i've seen people say like overusing olaplex is actually bad for your hair because there's like a lot of protein in it or something so if you guys can comment down below about that let me know if I'm washing my hair like three to four times a week, like if I have like a day where I go swimming or I work out a little extra too hard or it's extra hot out and I'm outside a lot and I need to wash my hair more. I do wash my hair with like random shampoos and conditioners in between. So like I'll do like Olaplex and then if I have to wash my hair again, like the next day I'll use something else and then I'll go back to Olaplex. But I wanna know if it's true, if I can really overuse Olaplex. I only wash my hair, I would say three times a week in the summer, twice a week in the winter, sometimes four times a week in the summer actually if i'm like doing a lot of stuff outside like i said but i tend to go to like a cheaper like i'll use like head and shoulders or like a tj maxx brand that's like called i don't know it's like cocoa something it's like coconut oil or something i don't know i just kind of like kind of go with like whatever in between but let me know what you guys think is it bad for my hair can i really overuse olaplex please let me know because i feel like my hair feels incredible i don't even put heat on it anymore because i use like this like that curling thing that you guys saw in my last vlog so i don't know hey guys so i'm going to the mcdonald's not mcdonald's i'm sorry i'm so used to saying that <laughs> burger king drive through which i never do in my free time but i'm going to try for our couple channel the nashville hot chicken sandwich i see foodie beauty eat it all the time so i'm gonna try it but then the new like i said i don't know if it's new everywhere but it's new here and it's the mango habanero burger which sounds weird but i had colombian food once and it was really good and there was like pineapple okay, i think on the king, burger i tried two apple turnovers for only two dollars Hi, um, can I have a Nashville chicken sandwich? Nashville hot chicken, just sandwich or combo? Um, just a sandwich. Okay. And then can I have a mango habanero king combo? What's the drink? Diet Coke. Can I get a Smarty Shake? And a Smarty Shake? Yeah, that's everything. Twenty-seven twenty for some of Thank you. Oh, it's about the only thing I can eat here. Excited because yeah, we had Colombian food and there was pineapple on the burger and like initially so i was like that sounds weird but so does pineapple on pizza and i love pineapple the only reason why i don't get pineapple on pizza anymore is because everyone used to judge me so i stopped getting it but 10 out of 10 pineapple on pizza is the best thing do you Sorry. want to hear a fun fact fun fact pineapple pizza was created about an hour away from us you keep saying that but then when i google it it says it's, another place google it right now um, uh watch it i'm right where was pineapple pizza created oh look at that look at that how interesting. Hi. That is so cool. We are known for our pizza here though. Yeah. Like 
known. Okay guys, I'm gonna shut this off and film for our channel. So I tried the Burger King food and then we went to his parents for like three hours or something like that. So actually long, <laughs> we were there for four hours. It is 5.42 right now and I'm just cooking dinner right now and I'm gonna pop it in the oven. And then my oven actually has like this feature where you can time it to start at a certain time. So what I'm doing is I'm cooking it and then I'm gonna place it in the oven because I wanna like bake it. And then I'm gonna have it start about 20 to 30 minutes when the pot before the podcast is done so that when me and Josh are done filming our podcast, you can come up and eat because we're not done till like 9.30. And then by the time I like cook and everything, it ends up being like 10, 30, 11 when we eat. So if I just have it ready for when we come upstairs, it makes it just so much easier and better. So I'm making like a, I got some Italian sausage, sausage on sale for like $4. So I'm making like a creamy penne spinach basil Italian sausage pasta. That is the longest title ever. I don't know. I'm just like throwing together something. I don't know. I just picked a bunch of basil from the garden, which needed to be used anyways. And I might throw some parsley on top just because we have so much parsley too. So I just picked all of this basil. Let me show you. I have all of this basil. And honestly, the reason that I'm even making the pasta is because I got the Italian sausage on sale and because I have so much basil. Like, this is a lot. So I'm going to try to use as much as I can. I love fresh basil. It's going to be really basil-y. I'll probably just start with a little bit and then keep tasting. I'm going to throw some mozzarella cheese on top and some Parmesan cheese and then bake it in the oven and make it like a bake. Got the wrong Parmesan. I wanted shredded, but he did ask grated. And for some reason, I just didn't even pay attention that grated and shredded were two different things when it comes to Parmesan. And I would have wanted a real brick of Parmesan, but it's okay. We'll work with it. And then I'm gonna throw some cream cheese in there to make it creamy. An onion, some of this, some garlic, some penne. We're gonna see what we're gonna make. I have no idea. <laughs> I'll show you guys the after product though. the final product it looks and smells so bomb i can't even are you excited okay we're gonna eat it and then after we're mm. gonna give it a rating so did you just come back from boxing i did and how long have you been doing boxing like in general or i don't know answer the question uh, i'm the interviewer you're the answer oh, well i've just been back for two weeks but i've been on and off for probably two years this is so fun oh he looks like shit though no it doesn't it doesn't look it looks good yeah looks professional yeah. So what is something you can improve on in boxing that you said? There's lots. There's lots. Like, Well, yeah. Duh. Okay. So I'm just kidding. No, no, no. But seriously, here's the thing. Even if you like practice at home, which I did a lot, like during COVID, with the lockdown, I was practicing a lot at home. And even like me doing that, you think you know a lot and you think you like can fight well. Then you go into a boxing gym and then they just tell you, you know. <laughs> All these they, things wrong? You know, they, they, they basically, the good thing about going to like a fighting club or a boxing gym is like they're gonna break down like 
everything that you're doing so that you can improve on each little thing that you're doing, which is really good, but it humbles you very quickly. <laughs> so like you go in and you think, like I didn't go in thinking I'm the fucking shit, whatever. You're definitely but, better than average and I think he's noticed that. Right, but when you go, but when you go in, they're breaking down like even if you're good or you think you're good, they're gonna start breaking down little, little, little things that you don't even notice that you do. Yeah. Cause all I was doing at home is like, you know, practicing on a bag or whatever. And when I used to go to boxing before, it was more of like a workout class and an actual fighting club. But now I'm in a club where I'll be. And why did I make you go to a different club? <laughs> I'm gonna get hate and I don't give a shit. So I was gonna go back to the club I used to go yeah, to. Yeah, where there's girls. But there's a there's like, there's not a lot, but there's definitely <laughs> more than an average box. And guys, gym. I just want to tell you, he was willing to do it. And if he said no, or if that was the only boxing place, yeah, I would have yeah. just... But I'm glad, actually it was a blessing in disguise because the one I'm at now is not like a boxing gym, it's a fighting club. So eventually I want to, right now all I'm focused on is I don't want to get too ahead of myself and I just want to focus on like fundamentals and getting better and improving so that I'm not, I want to be good. I want to be good, good. So yeah, like, to beat people in the comments ass. Because I know there's, com I, they're commenting right now, they're saying... <laughs> Carly, you're so fucking controlling. You're not gonna let him go boxing because there's women there? You're psycho. Oh my God, Josh, leave now before she controls your whole life. Yeah, it's, it's something that I wanna like pursue and keep at it. But the, my problem is, is almost everything I've wanted to do, if I talk about it, and I'm like, yeah, I'm doing this, I'm doing this, yeah, I'm about to, then it's like I've already accomplished it. Then I stop. That's something I've had a problem with my entire life. It's like, when you start talking about something you do, you're like, oh, I want to start a business. Now I know you're supposed to never like, talk about it. Oh, yeah. And then they're like, oh, my God, that's so good. I've wanted now, to start like five. Yeah. <laughs> and then you talk about it and then someone's like, oh, my God, that's so good. Oh, I'm so proud of you. I didn't say I wanted to start YouTube. No, but if you're like, hey, I'm so proud of you, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. And, and now you already have like gratification. Like, oh, I've done it. Yeah. But you haven't done Same it yet. Same thing with weight loss. Yeah. People are like, you look so good. You're like, okay, I'm done. I'm going to eat a pizza tonight. Yeah, they're like, or you're, or you just talking about it. you're like, I'm gonna try to lose weight. They're like, good for you, girl. Oh my god, I'm so proud of you. Whatever, yeah, you get it. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna try to get buff. Oh yeah, bro, you get so fucking buff, good shit, yada yada. And now you already feel like you've accomplished it, but you haven't. Mm -hmm. So go do it. Oh my god. Motivation. Sorry. Motivational speaker. Guys, look what Josh got me. I mean, I'm sure it's just like cinnamon sugar topping. And it's just more of like a marketing thing. But I'm wondering if there's like actual crunchy like pieces of cinnamon toast crunch on top. I don't know. Cinnamon toast crunch oatmeal. I got it from Amazon. Score! Hi guys, I forgot to update you guys with my pasta. I'm eating it right now for lunch the next day. I told you guys that Josh and me would rate it. I rate this a 10 out of 10. I want to put cream cheese in all my pasta now. I was supposed to put spinach in it. I never ended up putting spinach in it. My necklace is really stressing me out, so I'm about to just leave it. We're gonna wait for Josh to come upstairs. Josh, we forgot to finish the vlog yesterday, and you're supposed to tell them how to uh, rate it from 1 to 10, because I showed them the recipe. Oh, I'll rate it in 8. Why? I think it would be a- I, I think today it was a nine and a half. I think it would be a 10 if we had it fresh, because when I tried it fresh, yes. yeah. the noodles weren't like soft, and there was actual sauce. You guys are gonna make this. We were supposed to have it later, that's why I made it so early. But I'm gonna try to remake this eventually, but this is definitely really good today. Yeah. Oh my God. I give it a 10, but I'm biased. So that was it for my vlog. Sorry about my breakout right here, my period, it's horrible literally so big anyways um as you guys may or may not know if you follow me on twitter and instagram and patreon i am engaged um we do have it recorded when he proposed josh was smart set up the camera thank god so we will have that up it will be out on patreon tomorrow and then out on the vlog channel eventually so don't worry youtube you're still gonna get it and yeah i love you guys thank you so much for watching sorry for like the random cutoff i'm engaged now so i'm excited okay bye